Hi guys, this is Jared from Flying Surrender. We finally finished MD Grave and uh, I'm very happy of how this worked out for us. Uh, personally, all of us in the band are uh, excited about this release and uh, the, the approach to drumming in this album has been way out of my league uh, when it comes to breakdowns or when it comes to syncopations of, of the riffs and some interesting stuff going on there and uh, has been a challenge working with my guitarist Sanjay and uh, the kind of things that we've done on this album has been definitely exciting to all of us and I hope you guys like it too. Uh, I've tried to stick around a little more on the simplified nature of, of uh, rhythm to keep it more simple to hear just to work around on the guitar parts and not to try and do too much and uh, uh, we've worked on a different sound on this album we try to bring in the Indian element to excite the genre of music that we usually play that's metalcore Is, is not one concept as such. It's pretty much like how we did the X Men's album, where uh, I didn't follow a concept as such. Where say the same stream runs through the whole album of all the songs, like 10 12 songs, um, but rather you have different concepts and then you put it in a bag and package it. So uh, everything uh, we deal today in life, struggle and questions is um, what um, you know, I try to write on personally and uh, round it off with the fact uh, of you know using that empty bit and uh, uh, the title track for me uh, I, would, I would like to give you an illustration uh, uh, when I was writing this song uh, um, if, if you have the uh, game I don't know how much of a flame you can see in this bucket, you have a big glass box which can fit a human being. A, a regular glass box is not just enough, you know, that they got uh, breakaway. And uh, if, if you dump mud in that and um, put a human being on, after you put the mud, you put a human being there, and then you start dumping mud all over it. And then at the top of the glass, you have like two holes exactly for your nose to breathe, and um, you know the mud is just like piling up, piling up, and uh, till where it's almost filled, and then your face is just pushed to just those two holes there, and uh, that sense of frustration or mental frame is what I was in when I wrote the uh, empty grave about saying. I am so stuck in my problems and my issues I deal with and uh, I am not supposed to be that way because God has risen from the grave and He's given me the power to do the same and uh, but if I believe that's all I can do I could probably just stay there in that put a glass box trying to breathe as much as I can looking at all the people having good times. I'm saying I'm fighting, but 
rather so it makes a lot more difference for me to say I'm going to stand up I, I cannot stay where I am and and because of what God has done for me I can come out of this um, that's it. But I always kept thinking I wanted to do something totally different from what I've already done. And that's always been the approach uh, when it comes to writing music. So we had close to, I think, 20 songs, 20 to 25 songs for this uh, MP Layers album. So when, you know, me and Jared started working together on them, then we realized that all those riffs actually, you know, fit in well with the final kind of songs. And when Jared suddenly said we can have the Indian element on it, that was the change I was looking for. So, you know, when we just heard the album with the Indian element, it was like it just took the to a whole new level. So, I mean, there's not much of a difference when it comes to the guitar part because, I mean, we're still doing the same thing. We're still playing the same scale, we're still, you know, playing fast with, you know, doing all those guitar solos and shredding and all those things. But at the same time, it's just so melodic. You know, there's so much of music in it and it has so much space for the other instruments to fit in properly and I was very happy with the way it came out and uh, I specifically wanted to you know, do something uh, very different from all the other songs so and that was this one particular song in this album called Nun One so basically what we did was uh, the song is on a major scale so basically metal core is never played on uh, you know, the major scale so I thought, let's try something different and try coming up with something on the major scale. So the entire song was written on B major, which is a very happy scale. So once we started doing that, you know, the sound of the band started, you know, taking a new direction to it. And once the Indian elements came into it, it became even more interesting. So especially with, you know, different sort of vocals on it, or trying to bring that punk, punk rock sort of an element into the whole thing. So, I mean, we all like punk rock, we all like, you know, clean vocals, we all like drawing vocals, we enjoy everything. We are musicians more than just, you know, playing our instruments. So, we wanted to bring everything into one particular song and that song just took it off. So, I think that's my favorite song in the album, and as far as the writing process is concerned. So, and once uh, the whole recording process was completed, uh, I mean, there was input from James, there was input from Jared, there was input from Joseph. I think we all just sat and listened to the whole album, you know, from the first song till the last one. And then, you know, when that ended, when the album ended, we were like, it was all good. 